So what you have seen right now is me making the preform for the axe and it's basically a separate collar and a blade part and the blade part actually is part of the front of the collar as well and we also made uh, off camera a little edge steel which basically is just a wedged steel that will go into the blade and we're actually going to forge well the edge steel to the blade now before we forge it weld it to the collar just because it will be a little bit easier so let's do that now after that we're going to forge weld the collar to the blade So I have tried this weld once before uh, in, a, in an old video here on YouTube and what I learned from that experience was that I, I underdimensioned things and it was too thin and too it didn't weigh enough. Now that was a hewing axe, this is not a hewing axe. I'm quite happy with the, the form of this considering it, I've only done this type of weld once before and it was a long time ago but it's a bit on the big side so we're, we, we're go, going to need to grind it down a little bit on the profile so that's basically what I'm going to do next I'm going to grind it and then see if the welds held up
right, so it's time to heat treat the axe now. I'm just letting it sit here now and slowly come up to temperature. And when it's ready, I will quench it in oil. And then directly after, I will put it in my oven at about 200 degrees Celsius for about an hour. All right, so the axe is completed and what a challenge that was, but oh boy, it was fun. And what a great learning experience. This type of color is actually quite common a couple of hundred years ago in Northern Europe, all the way from 1700s and upwards and maybe a little bit further back as well. You can see this on a lot of different axes, especially hewing axes, it's very common on both in Sweden, Finland and other Northern European countries. The big differences between the Swedish eye and this particular style of collar is that the Swedes eventually started folding their collars instead of this uh, two-piece weld, which you see in this axe. Uh, while the Finns kept doing that, eventually they started punching and drawing out the collar instead on the more modern axes. While the Swedes tended to move away from the collar all in all and started making more of the axes that we see today. It's a very interesting history and it's a lot of interwining and that's because Sweden and Finland are very close nations. Finland has been part of Sweden for a very long time. And there's been a lot of Swedes moving to Finland, Finns moving to Sweden. Just in the region where I am, it's, uh, uh, during the 15 and 1600s, a lot of Finnish families moved here and started working here. And they even uh, helped invent uh, one of my region's uh, most famous dishes, which is called Nev, Gröt och Fresk. And we have the Finns to thank for that, and I'm very grateful. And we also have the Finns to thank for these amazing looking axes. Thank you, Finland. Thank you, all of the amazing blacksmiths, for the amazing um, inspiration to try this axe. I'm so grateful for the history and the traditions. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to, you can follow me on Instagram. The link is in the description. If you want to check out my website, you can also find the link in the description. If you want to sign up for the email list and to know when I have access available, you can also find it on my website. Have a really great day, everyone, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.